Hey friends, welcome to One Flight Down Basement Beer Tastings and another Stout Week video. Uh, today we're looking at a stout that comes from Atlantic Canada. It's from uh, the Big Spruce Brewing Company. It is an organic oatmeal stout called Cereal Killer. All right, so uh, this beer comes to me courtesy of my friends George and Audra, who recently took a trip out to Atlantic Canada and brought a few beers back for me. Uh, this sounds really, really nice. Uh, I'm going to crack this open right now. Well, look at that. It's got a green shaklucker on it. You don't see a green shaklucker too often. That's the technical term for that, right? Green shaklucker? Sure, why not? All right, let's crack this open. And of course, it is stout week, so I'm going to hard pour. Got a very nice cascade going on there. Look at that, huh? Yeah, nice dark tan head on it. Uh, what do we, what else do they tell us here on the can? Uh, Big Spruce Brewing, Atlanta, Canada's is it a little. I'm going to try it again. Uh, Big Spruce Brewing is Atlantic Canada's first... Oh, words. Big Spruce Brewing is Atlantic Canada's first organic on-farm craft brewery and hop yard. Uh, we craft uh, unfiltered, unpasteurized, unbelievably good beer. Uh, it says the cereal killer oatmeal stout is uh, rich and moderately dry with dark chocolate and fresh roasted coffee flavors. Surprisingly easy to drink, this stout will convert even the most fearful of dark beer drinkers. Interesting. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if uh, we we'll do that. I mean, I don't know. You don't have to convert me. I already like my dark beers. And uh, yeah, no one else is trying this with me. So. <laughs> um... On the nose, I get I get the, the a little bit of the chocolate note. Um, maybe a touch of coffee. What's a, a like a dark chocolate note? Uh, all right, I'm gonna go in for a big creamy sip. Okay. Um, yeah, as I said, this uh, it's it's an organic uh, oatmeal stout. Comes in a five point four percent alcohol, and um, taste wise, it's not much different from other oatmeal stouts. I've done a few oatmeal stouts this week. I find they all kind of have like a, a thinner um, uh, body to them, um, a fairly creamy mouthfeel generally, and this is pretty much on par with that. It's very smooth though. Um, and one thing, like they say that it would convert somebody who doesn't normally like dark beers. I noticed a lot of them have more of a, like a roasted uh, note to it, like uh, almost like burnt coffee or something in there. Uh, and this doesn't have that. This is, is quite smooth. So I think that's probably where the converting somebody who, who's not into really dark beers, because it doesn't have that sort of just roasted, note that that might scare some people off uh so yeah maybe it would maybe this would actually convert a non-stout drinker who knows it's possible uh but it's a decent beer overall uh yeah so make sure you stick around tomorrow is uh my next or sorry uh, tomorrow is my final uh stout week video i started monday going to sunday and tomorrow we're doing a special one because i'm going to be looking at uh, one of a special vintage and then comparing it to the new version of the beer. So you want to, want to make sure you're there for that. All right. Uh, to George and Audra, thanks again for donating this beer to the show. And to the rest of you, thanks for dropping by the Terry Isle Basement Pub. See you all again real soon, friends. Cheers. Again, I'm tired and I need to go home.